Today, we will discuss high total immunoglobulin E IgE levels in a simple and easy to understand way. Have you ever wondered what could cause high levels of immunoglobulin E in your blood test result? Immunoglobulin E plays a key role in your body's immune system, particularly in allergic reactions. However, when its levels are unusually high, it could indicate various health concerns. Let's explore some common causes. Allergic or atopic diseases, conditions like asthma, allergic rhinitis, atopic dermatitis, or food allergies can elevate IgE levels. However, total IgE doesn't pinpoint the specific allergy you might have. Infections, certain parasitic like scoriasis, schistosomiasis, and viral infections can cause high IgE. Immunodeficiencies, some rare immune disorders like hyperimmunoglobulin E syndrome also lead to increased IgE. Inflammatory diseases, Conditions like eosinophilic granulomatosis can impact IgE levels. Cancers. Certain types of cancer, like Hodgkin lymphoma, might elevate IgE. Other causes, smoking, cystic fibrosis, and even some medications can influence your IgE levels. What alarming signs should you look out for if you have high immunoglobulin E levels? While elevated E levels can be concerning, certain situations demand immediate medical attention. Severe allergic reactions. If you experience sudden, intense allergic symptoms like difficulty breathing, swelling, or hives, seek urgent care. Signs of serious infections. High fever, unexplained weight loss, or persistent cough might indicate an underlying infection associated with high IgE. Symptoms of allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis, ABPA. This includes worsening asthma symptoms, coughing up mucus, and breathing difficulties. ABPA is a lung condition caused by a reaction to the aspergillus fungus, often seen in people with asthma or cystic fibrosis. What test might your doctor order to find out why your immunoglobulin E levels are high? When IgE levels are elevated, your doctor will likely recommend additional tests to understand the underlying cause. Allergen-specific tests, skin prick tests or blood tests for specific IgE can help identify what you're allergic to. Tests for parasitic infections, stool tests and blood serology can detect parasites that might cause high IgE. Imaging tests, chest x-rays or CT scans, especially in cases like suspected ABPA, to check for any abnormalities in the lungs. Blood tests for other immunoglobulins. Checking levels of other immunoglobulins like IgG, especially in rare conditions like hyperimmunoglobulin E syndrome. Consultations, referral to specialists like allergists or pulmonologists for a more thorough evaluation. Be sure to follow up with your healthcare provider for the next step.